welcome to another video welcome back to my channel in this video I did a little bit of plein air painting and some studio painting as I prepare for hopefully what's going to be an oil painting we went up to see my sister in the Blue Mountains which is in New South Wales here in Australia and while my sister went on a hike with my partner and her partner I went straight to the lookout to do some painting. I felt really privileged to be there when I was because when I got there you couldn't see a thing through the fog but as I was setting up the fog began to clear and it revealed this beautiful beautiful panoramic view. There were so many beautiful views up in the Blue Mountains and while I really really enjoyed painting up at the lookout unfortunately it was just not a successful painting session for me. So when I got home I took the painting into my studio and I decided to attempt to fix it. This painting is a sketch so it's very rough and I think I reworked it like three or four times uh, in the time from when I originally painted it to when I brought it home but in the end I feel like I got something that conveyed the space that I was looking for and it's a good base to jump off for my next oil painting. I'm really sorry if you hear any thunder in the background. It's a really stormy day here today and I can't really record around it unfortunately. When I was out in the field painting this one, I struggled because the weather kept changing. It wasn't just like the sun moved and the shadows changed. It went from dense fog to a very clear day. So I kind of just got a bit overwhelmed and the painting just ended up a bit of a mess. So when I brought it home, I pulled up a photograph of the same scene and I also looked at a couple of paintings by artists that I admire and I tried to kind of combine the two to give me or inform me on the colours. In the end, the painting turned out overworked but when looked at from a distance, it does convey that space that I was looking to convey. Usually I paint fields and trees and hills, not so much these kinds of mountains and gorges. So this was something that was a real challenge for me, but I feel like in the end, I didn't come out on top, but I came out like halfway up and that's better than usual. Usually I really struggle with this kind of subject. On the way up, to the Blue Mountains I got so much more material for paintings so I took a lot of videos in the car while my partner did all the driving and that was about 10 hours of driving there and 10 hours back. Um, I took lots of videos and from those videos I can take still shots that I can use as reference for some more paintings. So I'm hoping that this trip will birth a whole lot of new oil paintings for me. I've lacked new material 
for ages, new reference material. So it's really exciting to have so much new reference and reference of subjects that I have been wanting to paint. I've said before I live in a fairly flat area so I don't get these kinds of rolling hills and fields that I was able to photograph on my way up to the Blue Mountains so I'm so happy to be able to do a new series of paintings on that subject. I really had trouble out in the field with greens. I always have trouble with green. I think that's why a lot of my older paintings have kind of dry grass so I don't have to, to paint so much green. Um, and I think I focus too much on saturated greens and not the desaturated gray greens and blue greens that you get out in the field. So I tried to focus more on that in this painting once I brought it back to the studio. And the next painting that I do in this video as well, I focus a lot more on greys. On to the next painting. You'll see the one on the top there is actually a master study I did by an Australian artist. I think his name is John Wilson and the painting that I copied is called Wallaby Rocks. The composition of that painting isn't great but it's mainly because the uh, part that I taped off isn't the right measurements compared to the original piece so you have less sky in his piece but I was more so just looking at it for the colour 
And what I did with the painting below is I found one of the stills from my journey up to the Blue Mountains and I took the colors that I used in the painting from John Wilson and applied them in this piece. I think before I move on to oil painting, I need to do a few more of these studies. I feel like with each study and with each small gouache painting, I'm getting a little bit more confident with my greens and with my um, painting kind of in general, because it has been so long since I've executed an oil painting, especially a large one. I just want to feel ready for it. Part of it is probably a little procrastination, uh, but to be honest, the more practice I get, it, regardless of how long it is until I start my oil painting, I'm still painting if I'm practicing. I'm still getting better if I'm practicing. So I'm just allowing myself this little breather uh, before I start a large painting. I think the main thing that attracted me to this photograph um, that I used to create this painting is the randomness of the trees on the hills and how they help to describe the form of the hill and just the interesting kind of design element that they provide as opposed to the painting that I did before of the gorge. Those trees or those mountains are completely covered in trees and you don't get much space to play with in between those shapes it's just a whole lot of green of the same green and I feel like in some paintings that can be really beautiful but it's just really not the kind of painting that I see myself making I want something with a little bit more visual interest maybe something that can allow a bit more abstraction a bit more design just so I can have a bit of freedom with where I place those trees to, you know, describe the form of the hill and things like that. At this point in the painting process, I have laid down all of my main shapes and the base colors. And now I'm thinking about my paint getting a little bit thicker and getting my colors maybe a little closer to where I want them to be as well as refining those shapes and cutting into the tree shapes. I actually reworked the sky color quite a few times in this one. I keep forgetting that gouache paint dries darker than it did when you put it down on the paper. This is something that I'm not used to because I usually paint with oil paints and I'm finding I'm really missing my oil paints as much as I'm enjoying kind of the immediacy of gouache. I miss being able to push my paint and mix my paint on the canvas a little bit more. There's an Australian artist named Johnny Kovakovic who does these really stunning paintings of rolling hills with eucalyptus trees. He really pushes the threshold of believability with his paintings when it comes to the colour, but I just love how they look. He really gets that space and that kind of vastness that you get in the Australian landscape. I'll insert one of his paintings here so you can see what I'm talking about. It's funny looking at my landscape paintings now compared to back when I started landscape paintings. If you showed me 
I don't know, 10 years ago, maybe not even that, maybe five years ago, if you showed me the paintings that I'm doing now, I'd probably say, oh, they're horrible. Because back then, I only had an eye for realism and photorealism at that. Photography is really, in some ways, ruined paintings in some ways. They can be useful, but it's really easy to forget that our eyes work differently to how a photograph looks. Your peripherals are blurred, whereas in a photograph, everything is sharp, everything is defined, all of the shadows are flattened, there's no detail in those shadows. Whereas in a painting, you can capture how the eye sees. I used to want to paint photographs. I used to want my paintings to look like a photo. Now, I realize that I enjoy painting more impressionistic work, work that is a little bit more, I guess, abstract, but still feels real. It still feels like something you could step into. It feels like a landscape you could find yourself in. If you showed me this painting five years ago, I would have been shocked to see that I wasn't painting photorealism. But I have so much more fun painting like this. It is so much less stressful. And I feel like there is a lot more scope to what you can actually paint. You're not, you know, restricted to this photograph that you're trying to copy. I find master studies to be a fantastic way to learn. I'm predominantly self-taught. I learnt from YouTube and videos and books and practice. And I find that master studies are a great way to learn the skills and learn how the people who are really good at painting and drawing construct their work, what they understand about the landscape or their subject and how they convey that on a surface. The master study above informed this painting that I'm doing in the bottom in so many ways. I got the ideas for the colour for the mountains and how to bring them forward, how the greens are actually really muted. There's not much saturation there, but you still get this really intense distance. Without master studies, I would be painting pretty bad paintings because I can't always go out to do on plein air painting because of my energy and my time. But a master study is really accessible for me and every time I do one, I get better at painting. So I really recommend that if you are a painter, do master studies. They don't have to be traditional master studies of paintings by famous artists. They can be local artists that you admire. They can be scene studies from movies and TV shows because those are already composed and um, lit in a really beautiful way for you. You will still learn from doing that. You still need to do your own work because that is essentially why you're being an artist. It's to express yourself. But using other masters paintings as inspiration and a jumping point in the form of a master study can really inform your work and help you improve your skill set. And just like that, we've finished another painting. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you again soon in my next video. Hopefully I get to continue this series of paintings and working towards an oil painting. Please like, subscribe, drop a comment, and let me know what you think. And I will talk to you soon.